Hey guys, welcome back to Sip, Save, and Celebrate. I'm Chris. And I'm Devin. And we are back to do another Rebel Cast. This is Siempre's Rebel Cast series. Um, this one is coming out of the old non, so I can't wait for Sergio Cruz's take on the Rebel Cast that he usually does. Um, so that's going to be exciting. Of but, course, he's a master. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Sergio, hats off, brother. I can't wait for some. And I know I've got some of the other ones coming in that uh, he's a part of. This is actually a hand-picked bottle from the uh, Inland Empire Agave Club and in conjunction with El Cerrito. So El Cerrito, if you paid attention to our channel a couple weeks back, I actually was in their store. They've got so much stuff that they just have no place to put it. It's awesome. You got to check them out. They have got some great selections on all of their uh, spirits. But this one has is a reposado. So as you know, reposado means rested, right? It was in a old Buffalo Trace bottle uh, barrel for seven months. Um, it's the same exact way that they did the other Sampres. So we're talking, they use a screw mill to, uh, to mash all the juice out. They use uh, deep well water. They use um, wild fermentation. This is actually just slightly overproof. It's only 42% uh, percent alcohol by volume, but uh, I'm kind of excited to see what we got coming from the Buffalo Trace. And if we need to, we can even compare it to the old one, because that old one is in a wine barrel. This is in a bourbon right. barrel. So well, I'm kind of excited to see what we got coming from either of them. Hmm. Now, if I'm if my memory serves me right, you're not a huge fan of the actual Buffalo Trace bourbon itself. Correct. Okay. I, I find it just acceptable. It's nothing to write home about. Right. But I've had much worse than Buffalo Trace, I'll tell you that. It's got a very nice bright citrus out of the bottle. I can smell that from here. Definitely a lot of citrus. Like almost grapefruit oh. citrus, like a like a bitter citrus <clears throat> type fruit, maybe a Bergmont or something. Just from here. I haven't <laughs> And I, as you can see, these are fresh cracks. Very vegetal. Very vegetal. But it's as vegetal as it is citrus, though. Yeah. Not one overpowering. It's a good balance. It's a good balance. Kind of getting something like it has like a good sweet and savory notes to it. And you do get that bourbon barrel, for sure. I get it between like six and nine o'clock. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. You're that right. comes off as an alcohol flare, but that is you think. But that is the Buffalo Trace bourbon. I don't. I know you got a. Most scents and tastes for you seem to be amplified. Mine is just nice and smooth. But it's nice. However, one thing I might say, and this isn't good or bad, I think the bourbon is a little more overpowering than the agave. Because I'm, I'm not having, for me, I don't find a bountiful amount of agave. I have a slight hint up at 12 o'clock, but that's that's kind of where I'm at with this one. What are you thinking on that part? I, I think they complement each other. I think, you know, you get the the mm -hmm. nice agave first and then you get the flare of that barrel which which, you know, keep in mind we're talking Buffalo Trace, which is a little bit more of a harsh bourbon. Um it's going to be a little more alcohol forward. Um it's going to be you know, um, not as sweet. It's just. Okay. So those are, are the things you have to keep in mind when we're talking about the repo. Okay. Um, this is NOM 1137, which now all of Siempre has moved over to, uh, 1414, which is Viva Mexico. Now this is going to be interesting because the Viva Mexico is as we know that's in the highlands mm -hmm. this nom is down in the val uh, valles valles so all of the tequila the uh 
the agave is actually resourced from the lowlands. And that's where we're getting our vegetal. Right. And, and that seems to be just a, a common thread with all vegetal um, tequila seem to be coming from the lowlands. Salud. There's that buffalo trace. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. It's got kind of like a, a sweet but bitter taste at the same time. At the same time. And to me, the finish is almost peppermint. <coughs> You're gonna live, brother? Trying, I'm trying. That All one right. went that one went up the nose. This is definitely a whiskey flair to me. I'm, and it is good. It's good. I would love this with a nice cigar, though. This has got that kind of a, of a togetherness on that. But ultimately, I still like it. I mean, I haven't found a Siempre that I don't like yet. <clears throat> this one, I think, I, I honestly think I like the Bordeaux a little bit better. But that's a personal preference. I want to grab one of those Glen Cairns. Let's just kind of like put it side by side a second. I know one's wine and one's bourbon. But I just really love this, this, this Bordeaux cast. It's one of my favorite Reposados and I know it is yours. Right. Um, well, we can probably leave that right out there. Both from the same nom still. <clears throat> but I I think it's got the traditional, like for me, Buffalo Trace has a bitterness to it. It does. And so I think that all translates. And I do think you lose like the beautiful agave in it, especially with those bitters that are, are there. Yeah, I do agree with you. See, that one smells sweeter, but that's going to be the Bordeaux. The Bordeaux wine. Yep. Um, what are you thinking? I don't know. Um, I think I paid 50, 60 bucks for it. I think so, it's good, but I think you also have to enjoy Buffalo Trace. Okay. That's fair. To, that's a fair assessment of that. Um... I just really love this so much more than this one. This is good by itself. Do not misunderstand me. I like it. I just love the, 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 the flavors that come from this. So different. But I'm not going to let it go to waste. Keep that in mind. Well, there you go. We got another one in the box. Guys and girls, please remember to hit that subscribe button. We're almost there to 500. We're just getting really, really close. And don't forget the notification bell. So that way you know every time we post some great content. Um, anything you would like to add? Hey, it's a St. Patrick's Day, so hopefully you're enjoying properly. That's right. Top of the morning to you. <laughs> but until then, always remember to sip, savor, savor and, and celebrate. celebrate. Salud.